The M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS, is a multiple rocket launcher system mounted to a 6x6 FMTV truck chassis. HIMARS was developed by Lockheed Martin Missile under an Advanced Concept Technology Demonstration Program in 1996. The purpose of HIMARS is to engage and defeat artillery, air defense concentrations, trucks, light armor and personnel carriers, as well as supper troop and supply concentrations. It is designed to launch rockets and tactical ballistic missile. History and background. In the 1980s, the development of the M142 HIMARS was driven by the need for a highly mobile, precision artillery rocket system that could provide long-range firepower to U.S. and Allied forces. The system debuted in 1993 and was developed by Lockheed Martin Missile and Fire Control. The company successfully developed the first HIMARS in 1996. It took several years of testing and refinement before the Marina Corps began integrating them into units for training exercises in 2005. The HIMARS carries one pod with either six guided multiple launch rocket system rockets or one Army Tactical Missile System missile. It is based on the U.S. Army's FMTV 5-ton truck and is capable of launching all rockets specified in the multiple launch rocket system family of munitions. The ammunition pods are interchangeable with the M270 MLRS. Under contract to the U.S. Army, Lockheed Martin has delivered more than 400 launchers to the Army, Marine Corps, and international customers. On April 28, 2023, the U.S. Army awarded Lockheed Martin a $615 million full-rate manufacturing contract to produce additional HIMARS launchers and associated hardware. This procurement will contribute to the expansion of the U.S. Army's launcher fleet while fulfilling orders from international partners. Design Features and Capabilities The HIMARS shares a design resemblance with the M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System, or MLRS, with the primary distinction being its utilization of a wheeled chassis instead of a tracked one. The Multiple Launch System is operated by a crew of three, a commander, a driver, and a gunner. It has an empty weight of 29,800 pounds, or 13,117 kilograms, and a combat-loaded weight of 35,800 pounds, equivalent to 16,238 kilograms. The HIMARS is designed to launch various types of rockets within a short amount of time. In just 20 seconds, rockets can be prepared, and within 45 seconds, all of them can be fired. These are contained in a single pod with six multiple launch rocket systems. The rockets are guided by GPS, which means they can be accurately directed towards their targets. Each GMLRS rocket costs approximately $100,000. A unit price of the M142 HIMARS was around $10 million. The crew operating HIMARS can reload the rocket system within four to five minutes with the help of an integrated crane. An MTVR MK37 resupply vehicle truck accompanies the launcher to assist with reloading. This resupply truck carries two sets of reload rockets and a crane. During reloading, the crew operates the crane remotely from a safe distance away from the firing position. The rocket's pods can be unloaded at different predetermined locations along a specific route. The launcher vehicle moves between these locations, loading a new pod with rockets, immediately firing them, and then moving to the next location to pick up another pod, allowing for continuous operation. The HIMARS is specifically engineered for seamless network integration, facilitating effective communication and coordination with other units and command centers. This artillery system can be airlifted by a C-130 Hercules tactical cargo aircraft. The C-130 can carry a single HIMARS. The C-17 Globemaster III can carry three loaded or four empty HIMARS systems. This artillery system is rapidly deployable. It can be briefly airlifted anywhere in the world. Furthermore, these wheeled vehicles can self-deploy over long distances.
rocket launchers, and ammunitions. The HIMARS is purposefully designed to facilitate the launch of a diverse range of rockets and missiles. The armaments designed to be fired with the HIMARS system include Multiple Launch Rocket System, or MLRS. The HIMARS is capable of launching MLRS self-propelled artillery rockets, which possess partially accurate and extended range capabilities. It is a series of 227mm rockets, including the M26, M26A1ER, M26A2ER, AT2, German M26 variant, and Swedish GLSDB. These rockets are specifically designed to carry submunitions and have a maximum range of 45 kilometers. It is also capable of launching GMLR's rockets, renowned for their high accuracy and extended range capabilities. The GMLRS family comprises various variants with diverse warhead options. Lockheed Martin and the U.S. Army confirmed that the GMLRS boasts a maximum range of 80 kilometers. The GMLRS family comprises different variants with specific characteristics, including M30 and M31 rockets. The HIMARS is also capable of launching the Army Tactical Missile System, or ATAC EMS missiles, which are a series of 610 mm surface to surface missiles designed to deliver long range precision strikes. The ATAC EMS is specifically engineered to engage targets at extended distances boasting a remarkable range of up to 300 kilometers. The U.S. military retains the M48, M57, and M57E1 variants in its arsenal. Additionally, the HIMARS is capable of launching PRSM, the munitions of the near future. The HIMARS system boasts remarkable flexibility, allowing it to readily accommodate emerging armaments as they are developed and deployed. A prime example of this is the Precision Strike Missile, or PRSM, a cutting-edge series of GPS-guided missiles poised to commence the replacement of ATAC EMS missiles in this year, 2024. The M142 HIMARS has established itself as a highly effective and versatile artillery rocket system. Its operational history includes deployments in various conflicts, providing critical fire support to ground forces with its mobility, precision, and extended range. The HIMARS is without a doubt one of the most dangerous weapon in history. Subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed our videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next awesome video.